let's start with the phases here. Let's, let's, let's divide our stroke here. One, two, three, four phases. All right. So the first, the first part we want to do is this. We want to make sure that you get sideways. Here's the story. If you let go of the racket right away, you might turn sideways. You might not. Now, keep your hand on the racket and turn 90 degrees to the side without letting go of the racket. It forces you to turn sideways. If you keep this hand on the racket, it forces you to turn sideways. Now, let's try to do with the hand on the racket and not turn. Okay. Can't do it. Can't bring the racket? Yeah, yeah. When, when you keep your hand on it, it kind of forces you to go here. So, if you get, if you get this hand to stay on the racket until it goes to the side, it's like insurance that you're going to turn. Okay. Right. Also, it's quicker than you letting go and bring the arm back. The arm doesn't go as fast as we do for turning. The body moves quicker. The body rotates faster yes. than the arm swings back. So this is a much quicker first part of the preparation. Because we're going to prepare the racket that's facing that way. And we're going to try to take the racket to the back here. The back fence. So roughly, our back swing is going to have like 180 degrees. Okay. It starts in front and finishes in the back. Okay. Preparation should be small, compact, quick, easy to do. Quick too, because what if he hits it hard? Right. And, and being compact makes it be quick, right? So to make it compact, instead of the preparation, the fulcrum being here, it's more on the elbow. So here we go. We do the first 90 degrees, and all you do is turn sideways. Now, now you're gonna let go of the, uh, the hand, and and around the elbow here, all you're gonna do is this is a half part of a rainbow. Racket just looks like a rainbow here. The forearm always do all it does is go from your front, in front of you, right. to your side. Front, side, front, side. You can even practice the second half of the preparation without turning on the first part here. All you would be doing would be this. Okay. See? But if I turn sideways... Now, you've got this part, which is the second part. This is the first part. And you put them together. First part, second part. Eventually, they blend together and it looks like this. Why do you want to hit the racket to drop here? You want to come from below the ball as you're about to strike it. If you're coming high to low to high, you have to, just before impact, suddenly get under and come up again. It's not good feel-wise. Can it be done? Yes, it can be done. But it's not the easy way. You're doing it the hard way. You're starting up here. Right? Just for a learning purpose here, come forward a little bit. Just drop it down here. So now you go here, and then you go here. Hey, that's good. All right, that's one way to do it. I don't like the straight back. Back swing. Can it be done? Yes. Some people take the racket straight back. How about the pro? I wouldn't even say 9 out of 10. I would say probably 80 out of 100, 90 out of 100. Loop the back swing. Don't take it straight back. It's got to be a reason to do it. Well, the loop is a continuous motion smoother for sure, builds up momentum, and also enables you to keep the wrist firm in position. See if you take it straight back, chances are you're going to get wiggly with the wrist. Also, you lose the momentum because you're going straight back. Let's put a sound on the string, on the string here, ready? I'm going straight back. Uh, uh, start again. Did you hear that? Yeah, was like pow. a car hitting the brakes and then starting again. Exactly. Now let's see the loop. Uh, oh, I like that better. That's a, it's building up here. That's it. So, okay. You've got this left hand holding the racket here. Then, the left hand helps prepare, right? Ensures preparation. If you like your shoulder, it comes all the way to your chin. Folks, violin is a great example. You know, when you turn here, you want to have that violin feeling. Okay, now your left arm has helped you get sideways. When you let go here, you know you're going to drop this arm down here doing the second part of the rainbow, right? 
as you let go, this arm points to the spot in space here where your strike zone is. Make sense? You're going to hit the ball here, right? Not here? So you don't point it here. When you're going to strike the ball here, no, you're not going to strike it here. Where do you want to strike the ball? Right about here? Well, put the rocket back there and point to that spot. So now you're ready to hit it. And your brain is pre-planning where through this arm. This arm is telling the brain to tell the arm, hit it here. It's guidance. It's also gauging distance. You know, sometimes if people get too close to the ball, right. you get too close to the ball because you don't have any gauge, so it's only your eyes computing the distance. Yes. If you run towards the ball with that arm extended, it'll tattle tail. It's time to hit. And then you know when to hit it. Yeah. So now let's go here. Let's go back to your ready position. Left arm helps preparation. Then when you let go, this arm goes back and drops down like a small, like a small second half of a rainbow. And this arm goes here to plan. So look, arms comes together, then arms split apart. Simultaneously, look. Yeah. So, together, simultaneous. Together, simultaneous split. Now your left arm has helped you get sideways. All right. You have prepared the racket back here and you're telling yourself where you want to hit it. Right. Now you're going to start the swing. Let's talk about this swing. Here we go. Pro player strokes, forehand, preparation, upper body turns sideways. Watching the ball, keeping your head still so you can watch the ball. The wrist cocked back, bent back, or triggered. You can use the word you prefer. Loop back swing, meaning don't take the racket, don't take the racket straight back, do it loopy. We talked right. about that. And I, I put turnish here. I like this term that I, I kind of invented it. You know, I said, when you prepare, you want to be preparing in a turnish way, not in an armish way. Right. That's probably not in a dictionary, but people understand <laughs> what I'm talking about, you know. This is very turnish, and this is very armish. Mm -hmm. So that's why I wrote here, uh, loop back swing in a turnished way. And then use of open stance. I should have written here also, you know. But, but but it's basically when you prepare, learn to also prepare using the open stance. Don't just prepare always stepping in and close stance. So then here we go. Let's see what we got here. Oh, we talked about keeping your hand on the racket until you get to the side, and then and only then you let go. Mm -hmm. Let's check it out. Here's Andy, and erotic. He's turning sideways, and as he's already sideways, that's only when his hand is coming off the racket. Here's another example. That's a great turn. Right, and look at the shoulder touching his chin. And he still got the left hand on the racket. And he still has, it's letting go right Just now, but only go. after he got only sided. Only after he gets turned. Right after this, maybe would be this one here, that he, she already let go of the racket, and the racket's going back. Right. Then after that, the racket's going to start going down, and the arm's spreading out more. And look at this final effect we got here, of this left arm measuring the ball. Yep. That's Mark Philippoussis. Yep. Ferrero. So... Pretty cool stuff, let's man. See, let's see, let's see if we got... Let's see if we got... Other pros doing the same way okay. now. Let's okay, see. let's see. So here we go, ready position. These, Malbanian, uh, Nementieva, they got the ready position with their racket face closed also. Here right. is another player on the run. It's a racket face closed. Flat. Flat, with a hand on the back yep. of it like this. Yep. Left arm and touching. then the little black circles I put here are the wrist. So you can see if that wrist is cocked back or not. Straight. Straight. So yep. look, you got the wrist back cocked there. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to move on to all the pictures now and focus on that circles. Look, here. Yeah, that's Stretching a great in here, Carlos Moya, total open stance on the bottom. Well, left still arm turn. out. Look, at, it, look at the upper body turn and look at that wrist. I'm